Let's look at a few problems. The first one you have already seen. An article sold at a certain price results in a loss of 7%, right? So this information sold at a certain price. Sold, that means selling price. Loss of 7%, right? We don't know a multiplying factor for 7%, but I know 1% is 1 by 100, so 7% would be 7 by 100. Reduce 100 by 100 by 7 by 100, my multiplying factor would be 93 by 100 of CP, okay? So we should know how to do this. Life is not always going to be as easy as having 6 by 5 and 5 by 6. So I should be able to convert any percentage into a multiplying factor looking form, okay? Or this you would also get by your normal form, 7% minus, okay? When it is sold at... Whereas when it is sold at rupees 100 more, now that means there is another selling price. So first of all in the story, there was a ruined selling price, there is a new selling price also and the relationship is given as thus. The new selling price is 100 more, it was sold at 100 more, right? It, it results in a 13% profit. So the new selling price also gives me a 13% profit. So I hope that... Uh, you know where it came from. I know 1% is 1 by 100, 13% would be 13 by 100, an increase of 13 by 100, so 113 by 100, okay. Now, I can start connecting pieces of data. Instead of this SP dash, I can write SP plus 100 and instead of SP, I can write 93 by 100 of CP, right, just replacing pieces of information. This SP came here and then the SP dash came here and then this SP is being moved here. So if I now move this 93 by 100 CP, which looks very conveniently placed here, it will be minus 93 by 100 CP. So this 100 is equal to, this would be 20 by 100 CP, which is one fifth of CP. So CP is equal to 500, which is what we wanted to find. Okay. So that is uh, one way of doing it using multiplying factors, but uh, Let's look at another method of uh, or another visualization of doing this because uh, SP and CP are kind of on a linear scale, okay? So there is a CP and uh, in the first situation there is a loss, right? So this is the loss amount and this was the SP. And then from this point we go 100 rupees ahead and we get to SP dash, the, the new selling price. We have already done this question. This is the visualization, okay? And this is the profit. Now what it says is, this loss is how much? 7% of CP. This profit is how much? 13% of CP, right? And this distance is how much? This is 100. I know this and this is the same as this. So 7% of CP plus, right? To, if I want to add this up. And 13% of CP gives me 20% of CP or 1 -fifth of CP which is equal to 100. So we're getting the same, everything is the same. Basically, if I understand it, then I can look at it like this, or I can look at the way I was looking at earlier in the equation form. Stop. Okay. So now in this question, once again, we'll have to go back to that idea that when we're looking at such questions, uh, it's a lot about translation and translation will require you break down that sentence into smaller pieces and translate them piece by piece and convert into their mathematical form. So for example, I would uh, divide this question into three parts. The first part would be profit earned by selling an article at 1060. If I do not read the sentence any further, profit earned by selling an article at 1060 this is obviously the selling price profit is typically sp minus cp i do not know what the cp is by this sentence so far so this is the profit earned by selling the article at 1060 you can think of as the profit is becomes a big equal to sign 20 percent more than 20 percent more than something right so I know this is very easy for me to say that, I mean indicate that some this is 20% more than something else. This way using 20% is 1 by 5, 20% more means an increase. Something. Now that something is what? More than what? The third part, the loss incurred by selling the article for 950. Now when you typically figure, try to figure out the loss, you do CP minus SP, right? For example, you have an item for 400 and you sell it for 300. You, this is how you would figure out the loss. So CP minus 950, there, that's it, you have it. You start moving the num you already have the equation. Now you just have to move the numbers and solve it, okay? So you move it here, this becomes, multiply this by five, 
so this becomes 5 cp obviously and this becomes 5300 right so this becomes 5300 minus 5 cp and this becomes 6 cp and 6 into 950 that becomes 5700 so you get cp as 5300 something has gone wrong somewhere 5400 and 5700 and 5300 okay cp is okay 11 cp sorry 11 this gets added 11 cp is equal to 11000 cp is equal to 1000 yeah so that was uh, fun. Weird. Sorry, I got stuck there because I thought getting subtracted and one CP was getting something. So this is a minus sign. We move here, it become plus, becomes 11. This will also become plus 5300 plus 5700 will give you 11,000, and you get that CP. But let's again try the visual form. So I know there is a CP, and there is a selling price of 1060. And there is a cost price of 950, right? Uh, sorry, a selling price of 950. This is the profit. This is the loss. This distance is the loss. This distance is the profit. What is given in the story, if you can translate it in simpler form, that profit is 20% more than the loss. Is that okay? Now, I also know that the difference between these two points is 110, right? That means loss plus profit is 110. And I know profit is 6 by 5 times the loss. When I work this out, I get 11 by 5 loss is equal to 110. This gets cancelled and you get loss as 50. So this is 50 and 20% more than that, this becomes 60. 1060 minus 60, you get 1000. 1000 minus 50, you get 950. So that was another way of doing it. So, but all of this will happen only once you are able to translate the pieces of data. The profit earned at 1060 is this and uh, maybe, I mean basically if you have understood it and the clarity in your head, a lot of jugglery can be done after that. Okay, but I hope in either with either of the methods this question made sense to you. Okay.